Hello again, so this is a workout that I did on uh, Friday, June 17th, just working out in my backyard with, you know, just my simple equipment, you know, just doing some body weight stuff as well as just some simple equipment, some of it homemade. So I started off with the plank. The plank is a really nice exercise that I recently discovered. It it does a really good job of just working out all over. Now, one of the things you might be able to notice here is you can see my posture is kind of out of whack, and I'm going to have to go see a physical therapist to get that taken care of. Okay, right now you can see I'm starting to struggle. I mean, you wouldn't think it would take that much effort to hold that position, but after several seconds, you know, it really definitely starts getting to you. I can do maybe about a minute or so. And that wore me out pretty well. Okay, so now I, I switch to doing some bodyweight squats. Now, you can see that my form kind of sucks, and part of that, I think, is you know, due to my posture issues, and I'm just not flexible enough, and I'm still overweight. You know, but even then, you know, I'm squatting down further than some people you see at the gym, so, it's, so that's something. And I think I might also here be going a little bit too fast. I think I, I need to slow down my reps and just really try to squat down as low as I can. So I did um, 10 reps of that. And then for my second set, I switched to a 10-pound uh, medicine ball. And that's the Amazon Basics medicine ball, which so far I'm pleased with it. And I will have that... A link to that in the video description for those who want to check it out. And as you can see, I'm, I'm still, you know, struggling to get down really low, but, you know, I think just the fact that I'm obese is partially contributing that, and I'm just not flexible enough. And, you know, I it's, it's only been a couple of weeks since I've been working out regularly, so, you know, it's going to take time. But, hey, at least I'm doing something, right? Okay, and then from there, I switched to my 8-kilogram kettlebell, which is about 18 pounds. You know, I was actually contemplating getting uh, the next heaviest kettlebell. But I think I'm going to hold off on that since my form on the squat is still not good enough. And... Once I get my form down really well and I can really do it properly, then, you know, I'll consider upgrading my kettlebell. Okay, so after that, I switched to doing push-ups. I'm uh, doing decline push-ups because I'm still, you know, can't do regular push-ups on the, on the floor. So, you know, you just do what you can. Before, I was actually doing my push-ups up against the kitchen counter. So, I'm actually doing them a little bit lower than before. So, that's an improvement. Normally, what I've been doing lately is just doing um, one set of 10 reps. But today, you know, I decided that to, um, on that day, I decided to push myself a little bit, so I decided to add in uh, a second set. Yeah, 
you know and again here you can really see you know my posture issues you can see just how like my head is way too far forward and that's definitely something I'm gonna have to see a physical therapist to correct Okay, now I'm switching to doing some uh, rows on my home-built um, suspension trainer. And you can, and one thing is I was definitely going a little too fast with, you know, with my reps. And if you want to know how I how to build these, you know, you can just Google DIY TRX or home-built TRX. I used some tie-down straps. And the handles are actually handles that I purchased on Amazon because they're padded. So I'll put a link to the handles in the video description so you can check those out too if you want to build your own suspension trainer. And since I was pushing myself, I decided to go ahead and do another set. But I didn't manage too many reps on the uh, second set. So now I've switched to doing some dips on my homemade parallel bars that I made a video about. And our chickens are watching the show. Yeah, these parallel bars are super nice. They work really well. And here I am just really fairly worn out and I'm kind of contemplating whether I want to do another another set. And I decided to go ahead and do another set. And on this set I I managed to almost do 5 reps. And I'm definitely worn out. So yeah, that's it for my workout. Um, it's not much of a workout. It's a, it was a fairly short workout, but you know I'm still out of shape, and you know some workout is better than no workout. And so of course you know as time progresses and as I get in better shape, I'll definitely increase the lengths of my workouts. Right now. My main concern at the moment is fat loss because the surgeon who's doing my sex reassignment surgery does want me to get below 200 pounds. And so I think I'm going to have to increase the amount of cardio I do to help with that. I'm, I'm going to look around for a cheap exercise bike, you know, on Craigslist or wherever, you know, so I can just do add some just mindless, you know, cardio into the equation to increase the fat loss and then just keep doing the same pretty much the same muscle building exercises that workout that's a workout that I do basically I've been doing that you know Monday Wednesday Friday and I've essentially been doing the same workout every day so just basically you know an overall body workout you know and I think for now that's what I'm going to be 